As a keen observer of Aptera Motors and its innovative solar electric vehicle ambitions, I see 2025 as a potentially transformative year for the company. Based on the company's developments and my own expectations, several milestones could shape Aptera's journey into production readiness. While these are my suggestions and forecasts, they are grounded in the trajectory Aptera has been following. I suggest that early 2025 might bring the completion of Aptera's PI4 build, a pre-production prototype. This step could mark a critical phase where the vehicle undergoes high-speed driving and crash testing. If all goes well, these tests would likely validate the safety, aerodynamics, and performance of the vehicle while ensuring compliance with regulatory standards. I foresee this as a pivotal moment for Aptera, solidifying its innovative design and efficiency claims. So stay tuned for the analysis. For the incredible work that goes in here, kindly return the favor by giving this video a like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, sharing indicates you wish to see our content reach and even broader audience. The PI4 represents more than just a test bit, embodies Aptera's unique design philosophy, which prioritizes energy efficiency and range. With an estimated drag coefficient of only 0.13, Aptera's three-wheel design is unparalleled in aerodynamic performance. If testing confirms its claims, the PI4 could solidify Aptera's reputation for delivering vehicles with up to 400 miles of range per charge for initial production. This potential outcome would position Aptera as a pioneer in addressing range anxiety, a common concern among electric vehicle buyers. Aptera may conclude another round of crowdfunding by February 2025, adding to its impressive fundraising history, which has already surpassed $135 million from over 17,000 investors. In my view, the company's partnership with U.S. Capital Global could also play a crucial role, potentially securing up to $60 million through convertible notes. This influx of capital could bolster Aptera's ability to commence low-volume production provided the crowdfunding and convertible note plans unfold successfully. These financial strategies highlight the growing confidence in Aptera's potential, but they also underscore the inherent challenges of scaling an emerging technology. Without efficient execution, even the most promising funding campaigns may fall short of bridging the gap between prototype and production. In my projection, Aptera might aim to deliver its first 20 vehicles to early investors by late March or early April 2025. These deliveries could act as an important litmus test for the company's ability to transition from prototypes to production units. If achieved, this milestone would demonstrate Aptera's capacity to fulfill its promises and meet the expectations of its loyal supporters. However, as with any ambitious timeline, unforeseen delays remain a possibility. Early investors having supported the project from its inception would likely provide valuable feedback on the vehicle's performance, usability, and overall quality. Such feedback could be instrumental in refining the production process and addressing any challenges before scaling to meet its pre-orders. The Aptera SEV, with its groundbreaking solar-powered range of up to 1,000 miles per charge and 40 miles of daily solar-only driving, could emerge as a standout in the sustainable mobility space. I believe its patented high-throughput composite manufacturing could provide scalable and cost-effective production as the company moves toward higher volumes. Aptera's ability to meet the over 48,000 pre-orders as garnered, representing an estimated $1.7 billion in potential revenue, will depend heavily on its ability to navigate manufacturing and supply chain complexities. Scaling production to meet demand, navigating regulatory requirements, and maintaining investor confidence are significant hurdles I foresee for Aptera. That said, the company's unique solar power technology and its enthusiastic supporter base position it well to carve out a unique niche in the competitive EV market. If Aptera can execute efficiently, it may establish itself as a leader in ultra-efficient transportation. Similarly, Legear is developing the Legear 2, a solar-assisted EV targeting a premium market and advanced solar-powered electric vehicle EV aimed at revolutionizing sustainable transportation. Designed for efficiency, the Legear 2 boasts a lightweight aerodynamic structure and an impressive driving range exceeding 500 miles. This extended range is complemented by integrated solar panels, allowing the car to recharge partially using sunlight. The vehicle is positioned as an eco-friendly alternative to gas-powered cars, contributing to the fight against climate change. The U.S. version of the Lightyear 2 is anticipated to start at a price under $40,000.
making it a competitive option in the growing EV market while maintaining affordability for consumers. Lightyear plans to commence production of the Lightyear 2 by the end of 2025. Interested buyers can already join the waiting list for pre-orders reflecting growing enthusiasm for the innovative solar EV. This strategic entry into the market highlights Lightyear's ambition to provide sustainable, long-range mobility solutions at a relatively accessible price point. The company boasts advanced solar technology and a sleek design, but has grappled with high production costs and limited scalability. While Lightyear offers a compelling alternative to traditional EVs, its high price point may limit its accessibility to a niche audience. In comparison, Aptera's unique selling points, its ultra-low energy consumption and unparalleled range, position it as a potential disruptor in the EV market. With an estimated price range of $25,900 to $50,700, Aptera strikes a balance between affordability and innovation appealing to eco-conscious consumers seeking sustainable and efficient transportation. However, like its competitors, Aptera must overcome challenges related to production scalability, regulatory compliance, and supply chain management. However, the path to success is fraught with challenges. Scaling production to meet pre-order volumes will require significant investments in manufacturing infrastructure, as well as meticulous coordination of supply chains. Regulatory compliance, particularly in crash safety, although optional in some cases and roadworthiness standards, remains another critical hurdle. Moreover, as competition in the EV and SEV markets intensifies, Aptera must continuously innovate to maintain its differentiation. Based on my observations and projections, 2025 holds immense potential for Aptera Motors. From completing critical prototype testing to delivering its first production vehicles and securing additional funding, the year could mark a turning point in Aptera's journey. While challenges related to scaling, regulation, and market competition remain, Aptera's unique solar technology and committed supporter base position it well to carve out a niche in the EV sector. As the world transitions towards sustainable mobility, companies like Aptera are at the forefront of innovation. If Aptera can execute its plans effectively, it may not only meet its ambitious goals for 2025, but also redefine the possibilities of solar-powered transportation for years to come. My forecast is optimistic yet mindful of the challenges ahead, and I remain hopeful that Aptera will continue to push the boundaries of sustainable innovation. And there you have it for now. It's been fantastic having you with us this far. If you've enjoyed the incredible work that goes into these videos, please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification icon to stay up to speed with new video publications. Your engagement means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.